June 12, 2024, all 49 Senate Republicans have signed a document showing their support for in vitro fertilization. This is in response to the Democrats who have been pushing a quote unquote reproductive rights platform for the 2024 election. As we have highlighted before, in vitro fertilization is intrinsically evil and no one that supports it can call themselves pro-life. In vitro fertilization is contrary to human dignity because it creates children outside of the marital act in a laboratory, quote unquote, under glass. And because in vitro fertilization often creates many unwanted embryos, these are unborn children, who are then either discarded, that's abortion, or frozen with no real destiny in mind. This is definitely contrary to human dignity. And this is something that no one who calls himself a Christian or calls himself pro-life can support. What this shows us is that there is no real pro-life option in either the Republican or Democratic parties. And contrary to what the Democrats will often say, that the Republicans are far right, extremist, MAGA, etc. It shows that there is no real right wing option in the major political parties in the United States. There is no real Christian option in the major parties in the United States. How long will we stand for this choose the lesser of two evils nonsense? So again, if you're hearing this and you care about these topics, you can call or write your senator, call or write your local representative and let them know we will no longer stand for this. And I also think it's time for Christians to consider other options, such as the American Solidarity Party, who is 100% pro-life, 100% pro-family, 100% pro-worker. Remember, it is only a matter of time before the Republicans will wholeheartedly support abortion if they are already signing on to in vitro fertilization. Praise be Jesus Christ, Ave Maria, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.